comes with a special touch. Two hosts addressing real life marital issues. And yes, you get the opportunity to be part of the conversation and also share with us how Celebration TV has been a blessing to your marriage and family. Marriageology special with Akosi Le Nicholas and Dr. Simon Andebayo. Saturday, 6th June 2020. Celebration TV at 7. All right, what a moment of excitement. You see, giving birth to most outstanding testimonies and um, result-provoking testimonies as well is considered most um, fundamental to Celebration Television Network. Of course, that's the station where you could virtually um, watch it in over three continents of the world. And I am glad to tell you I am so excited to tell you that that same station, Celebration Television Network, is seven years. And we are celebrating the seventh anniversary of this most watched station around the globe. Of course, um, right now we will be bringing you on this day a special episode on marriage geology, on real married issues where you could practically participate and uh, be a part of. You could uh, call in, uh, send your message through um, the numbers or the platform will be showing to you right away. I must tell you that I am so excited today that Celebration Television Network is seven years. Seven years of tremendous impact. Seven years that has actually put songs in the mouth of people all over the world. Seven years of outstanding testimonies is worth celebrating our study. Of course, when you celebrate um, with an individual, a company, a firm, you know God is close to you, is in your neighborhood as well for your own miracle. And I am very excited this morning that you're watching and we are celebrating together the seventh anniversary of Celebration Television Network. Quickly, um, back to the special episode on this anniversary we'll be talking real marriage issues yes where you could participate there are things happening in marriages <laughs> remember that marriage is ordained by god but satan satan is out there to fight what god has actually ordained there are shocking real life stories you're going to be listening to that will blow your mind of course i'm not here alone i am here with a marriage technocrat that will join us in the discussion and i'm very sure at the end of the day you will be <coughs> blessed indeed i'm very sure you'll be blessed indeed is a married technocrat and um quickly before i bring him up before you get to meet him we'll be going on a very short break i remain of course, like Nicholas Walter, the exclusive band, your host on this special episode. Don't go anywhere. This time, it comes with a special touch. Two hosts addressing real-life marital issues. And yes, you get the opportunity to be part of the conversation and also share with us how Celebration TV has been a blessing to your marriage and family. Marriageology special with Akosi Le Nicholas and Dr. Simon Andebayo. Saturday, 6th June 2020. Celebration TV at 7. All right, good to know that you're still there, still in the spirit of um, celebration, in case you're just joining us. Um, celebration Television Network is seven years, and we are so excited of um, the tremendous results we've seen over the years. And we're still counting. It's, it's indeed worth celebrating. I told you I'm, I'm coming up. Um, I'm here to bring to us a special episode on your favorite program, Marriage Geology. Of course. And um, I won't fail to tell you that I have with me in the house a married technocrat that you all know. He is Dr. Simon Adebayo. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> good, good to good see to you. have you on anniversary day. You look, you look gorgeous, sir. What shall we do? It's <laughs> a celebration time. Wow. wow. Uh, and quickly, um, I, I want to tell you, the technocrat is in the house already. And um, we're bringing you real-life marital issues. I got um, to listen to a very pathetic story of a woman who was actually sharing her deal in marriage. And I'm very sure you would like to. You would like to listen to this. You would like to listen to it. My name is Mrs. Chidima. 
born and brought up from Eastern Nigeria, also from a Christian background. We had it all smooth and lovely for four years of courtship. Even after the wedding, we were so entangled all through the honeymoon. We became the most talked about in our estate where we live in the eastern part of Nigeria. My husband was so fond of me and overwhelmed as he ceaselessly showered love on me to a fault until I became pregnant. When I felt some dizzy and rousy changes in my system, my husband took me to the hospital for check-up. As God would have it, the doctor confirmed me pregnant. And we were all happy knowing too well that God has answered our prayers. Four months later, my body started changing, not knowing that, not knowing there was a gradual crack in love and affection. Gradually. I noticed the constant cuddle had reduced so much until it dawned on me when he couldn't hide it anymore. At this point, I had given birth to a baby boy. After much pressure and complaints, he finally owed up that what he is saying now is not what he saw before getting married to me. He complained, I now have big stretch mark on my body. I have suddenly increased in size. My lips are now big and even the pregnancy has changed my voice to a male voice. Now, my husband is fed up of the whole thing. No longer finds me attractive and can't love me anymore. My marriage is shattered because I give birth. When has child birth become a crime in marriage? Please, I need help. with a special touch two hosts addressing real life marital issues and yes you get the opportunity to be part of the conversation and also share with us how celebration tv has been a blessing to your marriage and family marriageology special with akosi le nicholas and dr simon and debayo saturday 6th june 2020 celebration tv at seven back to the story we just um, watched concerning um, a woman who was married. They enjoyed love. They had good times until she became pregnant. Then after childbirth, things begin to happen. Now the man is no longer interested. Doctor, quickly, I want to know, is it possible to fall out of love in marriage? If yes, do you think the reasons of stretch mark, big mouths, big lips, and... Um, changed voice is cogent enough to crumble that marriage thank you very much let me just still appreciate the good viewers lovers of god for joining us in this august celebration it is only on celebration television yeah now if the purpose of a thing is not known a great man of god has said that then so many things will go wrong of course yes abuse is inevitable and i think that is what is happening in many homes without knowledge purposes are being destroyed and i think it is si simply lack of knowledge if we do know the integrity the nitty-gritty of marriage and we know the given purposes of marriage and then we emphasize the values i don't think such a thing will happen marriage is first and foremost for companionship okay. and there are evidences of companionship there are things that prove that these two people they are really in love okay uh -huh. number one thing like i will tell everybody is that the man is on a mission the man that is married is simply on a mission while the woman is simply on a submission if the woman is submissive enough to the mission of the man and she is 
still obedient to the man. She is still humble. She has the core values that are expected in marriage. If the woman has all of that, there is no reason why you should be moved by the nature, by the nature, by the by the sudden changes in the in, in the lady that you have married. Because I do believe something. If you want to be moved by the changes in the body of the person you've been married, okay. number one, you are displaying to all simply that you are not yet matured enough for marriage. I see. And you are displaying to us at the same time that you are not yet responsible enough for marriage. Sorry to use those words. Because if you are matured enough and you are responsible enough, you will know that there is nobody you will get married to that the body and shape remains the change. same yeah. at the end of the day. So if you change whom you have married uh, two, three, four, five times, you keep changing the characteristics and the, the, the body changes, whatever you, you wouldn't want to see. You keep seeing it and you will never be settled in marriage. In other words, for every matured person yes. in this world, it is impossible to fall out of love in marriage. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, wow. exactly. Fall out, depending on what you mean by being by falling out anyway. It, it just in, in his case, where he says he's no longer interested in, in the marriage. Why would not you be interested, for goodness sake? That's not the reason why you've married her. You've not mm. married somebody that will be a robot and will remain the same. You've married a human being. And one thing about organism is changes. Every living thing, you see changes. There must be changes. Even you too. I beg to tell you that you can't remain the same again. Aha, uh -huh. your voice, something about you will definitely change. So accept the person you have married, whether the body is changing, whether the language is changing. I'm talking about it. You're talking about the voice or the sound now. Yeah. If the core values are still there, she is still humble, she is still loving, she is still submissive, she is still obedient, she is still caring, and she is still compatible with you and she communicates with you very well. And she gives you all the due respect that you expect. Please ignore the body changes. Wow. Marry the person you have married just because you, you have the core values and the core values have not yet been interrupted. In other words, these core values are the things that are capable of sustaining yes. marriage. The pillars of marriage, yes. The submissiveness, yeah. the obedience, the humility, wow. the due regard. These things are still there. She gives you the honor you want in marriage. And she's still compatible. She communicates. She's not rude. She's not arrogant. She's not rebellious. If the values are still there and she gives you what you want, please ignore all other ones. They are temporal and they are carnal. They won't remain the same. Okay. Um, quickly, even the Bible stated that marriage is ordained by God. Yeah. It's an institution. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, the reason why God actually instituted marriage. Yeah. Um, is it possible, um, it, it, from this indication now, do, the man would have preferred not to have even given birth in the first place because of the changes he's seeing now. God actually instituted marriage. What is the reason why God actually instituted marriage? Because a lot of us, we are taking marriages for, for granted. All over the world, people are have, they keep having issues due to, as a result of ephemeral things that are not even expected to cause them, um, things that will escalate that will lead to divorce. Yes. You understand? Yes. What is the reason why God actually instituted this marriage? Thank you very much. Good question. You started by saying God. God instituted marriage. Right. Marriage was never your idea. It was not my idea. It wasn't the African idea, neither the American's idea or the European's idea. It was God. And it's an institution. That, that's the second word that you mentioned. An institution is a place of learning. And so God ordained marriage for our learning. And so a marriage is such an institution that when you enroll, you never graduate. You keep learning and learning and learning. Number one reason why God instituted marriage for our companionship. Look at what God said. It is simply not good. He created every other thing and he made a comment. Everything was good. Everything yeah. was good as yeah. far as he was concerned. Yeah. But he got to the place of man. He said, oh, he looked at man. He said, well, man was doing well, but something is wrong. 
it was not good because Adam did not have a companion. Mm. He couldn't be talking with the monkeys. He couldn't be talking with the gorillas. No matter how you think they look like human beings, they are not mm. human beings. Mm. Uh -huh. So I, I, I went to the zoo recently. I saw so many of these things, but they are not really <laughs> human beings. They look like human, but they are not human. Beings. So God needed to create somebody that would be a help need to help. Mm. So somebody to help. That's the reason. And so if you have gotten a helper, I tell you, you've gotten a helper. Somebody to help you, to be a companion, to be there for you, to be a companion. And somebody also that will be compatible. Compatibility yeah. is also very, very important. Communication is another reason. Yes, there's nothing wrong about uh, reproduction. God wanted a reproduction after man's kind. Mm. That's another good yeah. reason for marriage. Yeah. But I tell you, that's not the number one reason for marriage. Mm. No, 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 no. It's not number one reason so to marry. Right. So you can enjoy your marriage absolutely, even if you don't want to reproduce after your kind. If you don't mm. even want to have a child, you can still enjoy your marriage. So I hear people getting married today and they covenant into not having a child, but just to be in companionship so that you just be compatible with, with one another. But so to, you could get but married to, that to, way. To an extent, reproducing your kind is one of the essence. Oh, yes, I've said it, but not the, no, not the only okay. and not the number one. Okay. So you don't think um, that... Viewers out there, I would like you to send in your comments. You can call in right away on this special topic we're talking about on uh, marriageology. And um, quickly, um, doctor, you have been married for over 30 years. By the grace of God. And you've had um, children, right? Yes, yes. You have the, children. By the grace of and God. And presently now, I want to know, how has producing your kind, I mean childbirth, um, how has it been able, or how has it been able to affect your own marriage, your love in marriage? Thank you very much. Has I'm, it in any way, by any means, any I'm, measure, childbirth, giving you issues in marriage? I must be sincere with you, honestly. I'm not aware. I didn't even know if anything has changed about, about the, the body system of my, of my wife. I didn't even know whether she has grown bigger or fatter. I said, we just want to crack jokes out. Oh, you're adding weight. It has not affected me negatively in mm. any way. Not once, please. In over 30 years of my marriage, not once. I didn't look at it that way. I still look at her good characters and good values. Oh, this woman is still submissive. And that's all I want. Oh, this woman is still obedient. And that's mm. all I want. Yeah. Oh, this woman still communicates with me very well. Oh, this woman still cares for me very well. Oh, this woman still gives me the honor that I want very well. Oh, this woman still cherishes me. She values me. She loves me. She is caring. She's appreciative. So those are the things I look for. So I didn't even know whether something has changed or something has not changed. No. What has those things got to do with marriage, for goodness sake? So let us not shift the main value, the, mm. main, the core values, I put it, of marriage. Let us, let, let us not lower it down to things like uh, all this thing, uh, 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 the way you are, the, the sound of your voice. No, please. No, please. And again, I want you to know that all these things are subject to changes, really. Mm. Uh, because even the sound you are talking about may be what you don't quickly like today, but tomorrow again it will change. For example, you don't expect the sound of somebody who is an, an African to be the same sound of somebody who is an American. No, and then somebody who lived in Different. Africa, you cannot have the same sound with somebody who lived in the U.S., and so, some of the times, if you can make it, if you can afford it, you don't like the African sound of your wife, yeah, take her then to, to America, relocate to Europe, go and stay there. I promise you, the sound will change again. But all those things are temporary and they are kind of, mm. you need the real value. Yeah, regardless of the sound, regardless of every other thing, if the core values are there, please emphasize the core values and you will ever, ever enjoy marital bliss. Well, I, I love what you said when you said you never looked at her never. when she was actually given birth and all of that. Not once. Even in the Bible, children are gifts. Yeah. Now, I want you to um, um, own us up to um, childbirth the essence of childbirth in marriage. Because some persons, they don't see it as um, something important, producing their own kind. I don't know. I don't know. Why should that even bring issues in the first place? Uh, children are the heritage of the Lord, yeah. the Bible says. And the fruit of the womb. Are, the womb. Yes. So everything, if you want to understand that the essence of uh, you know, having children in marriage, are there animals? I mean, because you have children that will uh, defend you, 
uh, there are arrows in the hand of the mighty, the Bible says. They are there to take care of you, even in the time of old. You have yeah. children to send on errand and all of that. They are very good. We, we are so many things that may, so many things children will do for you if you have them. But please, don't let that be the focus of marriage. Okay. Because I've met with some couples that I've met with a particular man whose major purpose for marriage was children. I mean, he was actually before God married. He told me, Pastor, please, I want to get married. I want to get married. I want to get married. What is happening? What's fire on the mountain all about? Uh, it's no longer beautiful as he, she used to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he started saying all kinds of things about the wife. So that is why if you misplace priority on marriage, if your priority is being misplaced and you are not thinking that the sole purpose or the main purpose of marriage is to have children, you've gotten it wrong. Okay. You've gotten it wrong. Dean, um, doctor? I, I, I think I am I am learning a lot from yeah, this. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm learning a whole lot from this. And quickly, I, I want us to send a signal to that home, that family out there that is facing um, that problem, that kind of issue, that kind of problem. What do you think, especially now that um, the man is already irritated with the whole thing, that he cannot cope, he needs help, that I cannot cope and all of that with the marriage. What do you think is the remedy? How do we remedy this situation? Psalm 11 verse 3 says, if the foundation be destroyed, what then can the righteous do? You got it wrong at the foundation, you must agree. Because it was as if the foundation for which you wanted to get married was just for canal reasons. But, but, but let us try and see how we can re re reconfigure it. That is it. That's what I exactly I'm trying to yeah. do. Now, that's why I'm saying you have to go back to the foundation again. The foundation was destroyed. You wanted to marry for, for canal reasons. So you have to go back to it again. Oh, I got it wrong. Get it right. Marry not for canal reasons. Yes, anybody can be beautiful. Mm. There are many ways you can maintain the beauty in your marriage. And if you are talking about change of voice and all of that, I believe you may need to also meet some, um, uh, some uh, uh, medical technocrat, for example. It's not, it's not out of point. It's not, uh, it's not wrong to meet them. Maybe diet can also affect it. Right. Diet can affect it. Uh, climate can affect it. Uh, some, there are some other things here, here and there. I'm not a medical guy, a technocrat right now, but I can tell you that uh, there are people, people that dietitian can tell you, beautician can tell you, there are many things you can also do, and your wife can even be more beautiful, I mean, talking about outwardly, mm. more than ever before. Like my own wife, that's the truth of the matter. My wife now is more beautiful than when I knew her. So it's also my duty to make her more beautiful. Yes, just anybody can be more beautiful. Give your wife millions of naira if you can afford, millions of dollars if you can afford. Give her much money that you can afford. I promise you she can look more beautiful. And please still show her love. Mm. Don't, 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 don't reduce your love that's for her. Most, still show her love. When you show her love, a miracle can even still happen. Mm. Show her love because you show her love. Any little thing she wears, any little uh, um, change of diet, I mean, the, 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 the good vitamins, the good uh, protein also, food, the good things, and the good dress can even make her more beautiful in your own eyes than uh, somebody who has a particular shape. Please, I still emphasize character. Character. Right, you will you, enjoy um, your we, marriage. We, we, we have a question right here. Well, we have um, a message from um, somebody right away that says, the man need deliverance. Oh, that's opinion from um, the person that's talking to us right now that sent this message. The man needs deliverance. Some women were driven home because they, they didn't bear a child. Now this. The one he's running after the body will still change. So how long? In other words, how long will the person continue running around? Even the person, the person is trying to uh, run to again. By the time the person uh, takes in, gets pregnant, and gives birth to a, a child, one change must occur. You understand? Yes. So in other words, what the person is saying now is saying that the person needs deliverance. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the spiritual implication of this whole thing? Yeah, yeah. When you say somebody needs deliverance, really, I think that's exactly what we are doing now. Knowledge brings deliverance. The greatest deliverance I have heard about and I have uh, really studied is that of the prodigal son. The word of God says he came to himself. Mm. And he said, hey, how long will I be in this situation? Eyes suddenly open. Mm. Yes, there is no mountain anywhere 
The greatest mountain is out of ignorance. Mm. Every man's mountain is his ignorance. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Wow, wow. So the, the deliverance this man needs is to suddenly come to himself and say, Hey, hey, something is wrong with me. What, what is it that I'm doing? Ah, I won't get married any, any, any time. I will never be matured. I will never be responsible. Should I continue this way? Hey! I don't, I don't have to continue that. It's a, it's a u turn That's the, the word deliverance there. The man means a u turn Change of mind. Change of character. Change of attitude. And begin to look at the wife the way he's supposed to look at his wife. That's the perfect deliverance we're talking about. And once he's able to get that deliverance, now has a knowledge to deal with the wife according to the knowledge of the wife. Then marital bliss is all right, quickly, we have another um, message, another uh, message from somebody. Was God involved in the marriage? That's a beautiful question. Was God involved in the marriage? Because the blessings of God have no sorrow. Go back to God. Walk on yourself. The Lord will help you. I think I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. That's why we're saying that maybe initially, he just got married to somebody and said, Hey, see she. See <laughs> shape, uh, like I had us a particular young girl at four years. She went to the bathroom and took her bath. And coming out, she sees the mirror in her house. And she looked at the mirror and she said to herself, Four years, mark you. She said, Oh, see shape. See wow. shape. <laughs> Men will suffer. <laughs> huh? Can you imagine that? See shape. <laughs> Men will suffer at four years. And so maybe he had mistakenly got into the hand of C shape mm. and he married just because of shape. Mm. Uh -huh. And now truly, truly he has started suffering. So don't marry because of shape. Shape is good. Shape is inclusive. But that is not the core value. Mm. Marry somebody that you love. And the word of God says, love covereth multitude of mm. sins, mm. multitude of errors. Yeah. Keep loving her. Keep loving her. Keep trusting her. Keep believing her. Marital bliss is your portion. Wow. That was a wonderful one from um, Dr. Simon Adebayo. I'm very sure um, you're watching me right now. You're blessed with um, this story. Are you blessed at all? I know you are blessed. And um, in case you're passing through such situation, you have heard it all from the married technocrat. Quickly, we have um, another wonderful one. Um, for me, I think her husband did not want to have a child from um, her parent. From her, perhaps he might have children for some, from somewhere. Okay, in other words, what, what the person is trying to say, maybe uh, the man doesn't want the woman to um, bear her, uh, him children, you understand? Maybe yeah. he has the plan of getting children from somewhere else but just wants the i don't know is it can you imagine that obviously viewers are beginning to misunderstand this young man obviously majority of the viewers don't share his own idea it's, it's so please possible. yes possible. yes what you want yes to yes so that's what i'm saying now when you join all these things together obviously viewers are not in support of this man oh just developing hatred for an innocent woman yes. who still maintain her core values mm. When the value of 18 is not uphold or upheld, you know, uh, purposes have been defeated. Yeah. Uh, so that is exactly what is going on now. So as much as possible, please, 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 go back to your first love. Still, still, still love this woman. Still love this woman. Go back to the foundation. Wow. Thank Rebuild you. Thank the foundation. You so much. Thank, Thank you so much, doctor. Mm -hmm. I quickly want to, um, want to go on a very short break, but before then, I really want you to still stay focused. Stay seated, stay glued to your set because we're coming back with another powerful story that will get you shocked. It's mind blowing, I'm telling you. Don't forget you're part of this program. Your opinion counts, your opinion matters. Still, on Marriageology, live on the 7th anniversary of Celebration Television Network. Stay connected, we'll be back again. This time, it comes with a special touch. Two hosts addressing real-life marital issues. And yes, you get the opportunity to be part of the conversation and also share with us how Celebration TV has been a blessing to your marriage and family. Marriageology special with Akosi Le Nicholas and Dr. Simon Andebayo. Saturday, 6th June 2020. Celebration TV at 7.